Salutations, my friends, and thank you for joining us as we play Robocraft. Now, it's been a little while since I played Robocraft, so I figured we'd go ahead and play a few matches, discuss a few strategies. We're going to be playing today with the Stingray. This is a rocket-propelled ski robot. We have some skis here and a whole lot of thrusters. Now, you can make this same robot if you'd like. It's a pretty basic design. What you have is a very long, narrow fuselage, and you're going to be sitting at the back. And you're going to want to put as many shields around the cockpit as possible. This robot's main weakness is its defensive capability. It has very little armor and mass, so it's going to go down pretty quickly. But it does have a lot of offense, and it is very fast and maneuverable. And if you can stay moving, you can be actually a really difficult target to hit. Now we've equipped this thing with some uh, surveillance, we've got our jammers and our radar, and the key part is the thrusters. Now the thing with the robots in this game, and in real life, is the way physics work, the taller something is, the easier it's going to tip over. Now something that's short and heavy is not going to tip over very easily. When you have a long, narrow robot like this going at high speed, this thing is going to want to tip. Now one way you can combat that is to make the thing wider. If you make it really wide and give it a wide base, that'll keep it stable. Another thing you can do is to add downward thrusters to opposing points on the robot and make sure that the thrust is equal. By providing equal down thrust in all corners, you're basically extending the mass of the robot outward by quite a bit. Now this does allow you to stay stable to the ground and do some interesting things like climb walls and recover very quickly when you flip. So it's a very good design if you just like zipping around the battlefield, but without these key downward thrusters, this thing really doesn't work. It is all over the place. Now we'll take a look at it here. It is a very basic design. Like I said, just a long central fuselage. And then you'll want to put lots of weapons on the top. Now in this recent update, they have added sideways plasmas. And I actually tried putting a few on this robot. But what I find more often is they end up hitting the side unless you're directly lined up with your opponent, which is rare. So I favor still the top mounted plasma and I'm going to stick with those. Now we see here we have some side to side thrusters in opposite directions. The real key is to use the mirror mode to make sure that everything is equalized, especially in a thrust based robot like this. We have a lot of side to side here. We've got some big forward tier 10s. We have a jammer on the bottom. We have another, another key component is we have a few reverse thrusters. Now I find in a lot of these robots people forget to put the reverse on there. You don't use it a whole lot, but it is nice to have it when you need it. And then you'll see just mainly forward thrusters, a few side to side, a few reverse. It's pretty basic. I tried to stick as many shields on as I could fit just to give it a little more ability to soak up some damage and not die as quickly. But this is mainly an offensive robot. It's really good at capturing. You can get a lot of towers quickly. And uh, if the reactor is down, you can get there very quickly. So let's go ahead and test this thing out. And we'll start in a regular robot match. We haven't played in the battle arena in a while. Hopefully our queue time is not too long. Now since I'm playing a very high speed, weak robot, I'm going to mainly stick with an offensive role and try to focus on taking towers. I'll let some of the tanks engage in a lot of battle. If I can avoid a battle if possible, I'll just try to avoid that person and keep moving to a tower. Engaging people needlessly is not going to help me a whole lot, but I will take pot shots and keep moving if possible. That'll help maximize my robot's capabilities. Now we're showing an average wait time of 54 seconds. It's not too bad. Hopefully it'll be a little bit less than that. All right, we're in battle class eight through 10. Let's see which map we get. I didn't peek and cheat. We're in a Fuchsia's Valley. Right, here's our little medic teammate here. Let's make a quick dash for that first tower. That first tower is going to generate a high clock multiplier. It'll give you a pretty good level boost if you can get a few shots in on it. We are already headed the wrong way. Now, as I'm playing this robot, I am keeping my downward thrust engaged almost the entire time. 
Sometimes I'll let off on downward thrust if I want to flip or, or go through the air, but I'll keep on the thrusters the entire match just to give me more stability. Now we have arrived at the first tower. Let's go ahead and take this thing out. Now, always remember to shoot along the support beams. You can see where the actual nodes are attached. That really speeds up the process of capturing the tower. A lot of times I see new players just shooting the thing all over. Back up a little bit. Alright, we got that side. And this tower should be ours. On to the next tower. Now we're gonna travel through this cave. One thing about the cave is there's always somebody in this cave, it seems. Just the place to engage. Someone up high on the ceiling. Let's go ahead and hit him with the plasma. He is going down. We have a Tesla there. We take him out. Let's move on toward this tower. Now this tower is the most difficult to take, so this might be futile, but it will provide a good distraction and force them to react. If some of our teammates are taking the other tower, we can coordinate our efforts, take both of these towers and make a push for the reactor. We'll just keep focusing even though we're being shot at. We have a healer. Let's just stay on this tower. Got a nice little convoy here. Oh, that was a nasty hit. We're going down pretty quick. Our medic is doing his best. Even if we can get this tower down to just a few more cells and keep it, that'll really help us. I like to leave a few plutonium crystals on the tower, and then you know it's easy to capture when the time comes. I think we're about out of this match. Do we have a medic here? We don't have to respawn yet. They are picking us apart. reactor is under attack. That's not good. We need someone on base. Alright, we got the tower. Mission accomplished. Go ahead and try to respawn. Get back to base as soon as possible. There we go. Our medic was actually slowing me down a little bit. Let's make our way toward the next tower. We have two, so we can get the third one this early in the game. It'll be really good for us. This could be a quick match. Let's sneak our way down here. A little flip there. Let's get some plasma on these crystals. We're up to level 5, so we have a little bit more plutonium killing capability. This tower's going down pretty fast. Just one more crystal. Alright, we got it. Let's sneak around this way. Maybe make a run at the reactor at this point. We'll play a little bit more reckless. We've got somebody here. Take a shot at him. We'll get out of here. He's a, a sniper. He's going to kill us. We are being attacked. Let's make our way out of here. Can we make it back to the shield? I do not think so. Let's go ahead and respawn. 
I find there's no shame in respawning. Especially if you don't give the enemy the clock boost. Because every time they kill you, they get a level boost. Keep that in mind. Let's make our way back to the tower. This time we'll take the high road. Almost missed our turn. It's been a while since I played Robocraft, I think I'm a little bit rusty. We have someone in the sky. So close. Let's make our way into the shield, try to make a hit on the reactor. Looks like we're on our own. Does the sniper see me? Hopefully I can get a few players to react to my presence. Oh, we got a sniper. He's taking shots. I'll try to position the tower between me. I'm sorry, position the reactor between me and him. We have an SMG. Let's go ahead and get out of here and make him chase us. We are spinning out of control. We got a little bit of damage on the reactor, so it wasn't too bad. Now, by killing us within the shield, they did get a little extra boost, though. That's something to always keep in mind. If you fight inside the enemy's shield, you can actually help them quite a bit. Not only do they heal, but they get that extra bonus. Let's try going the center route. We're moving pretty quickly now at level 6. speed is up a bit. Oh, very good sniper shot there. Direct rail hit. And we are flipping and spinning. Let's see if we can respawn. A few more seconds. Alright, we're going to get back in this pretty quickly. That is one benefit to not being level 10, is I do respawn faster. Now one thing about this game is they don't give you a lot of a boost for just capturing towers. So if you spend the entire game capturing and not actually killing any robots, you'll probably stay in lower levels. We have our team all together here, let's make our way over toward them. Flipping and spinning. I'm gonna take a minute to regain. Can we flip it? We got it. And where is he headed? Oh, he's going toward the reactor. Let's get inside with these medics. They are getting chewed up. Aha, oh, you'll never hit me. In and out. I'm stuck on the ledge. This could be bad. And we are just a floating cockpit. A floating cockpit and a couple shields. We seem to be invincible. Wow, I think the game actually has glitched. Let's go ahead and respawn. Oh no, we, we died. Not sure who's winning this battle. They are far ahead in the towers, but it seems to be close. I'll finish him off. Let's make our way over to the sniper. He sees us. He's not happy about it. Direct hit have crippled him a bit. He's going to get his revenge. 
get his last gun. Come on, come on. So close. Ah, uh, well played. But at least he's been neutralized. He's not going to be uh, taking any reactors anytime soon. He'll need to respawn. I will as well. Now we are still stuck at level 7, so we are holding the team down a little bit. Try to get up to level 9 if we can. Our team's not doing too bad. Let's cut across here. Try staying on this ice. Get this tower. That sniper is in a very good position. We need to deal with him. We need to get a flyer on the sniper. Now I'm not sure if it's the update, but rail guns do seem a bit more effective. I do hope they did get a little bit of a damage buff. to the shield. And we make it. Alright, we have made it to safety. Take a moment here to heal our damage. Alright, we're back in this. Let's make a push for the final tower. could win this game if we can get this tower. Ooh, a little sliding there. So far, so good. Can we take this tower single-handedly? One good shot. Two good shots. And we have reached level 9. We have an SMG. We got one side. We are going down quick. This tower only has a few crystals left. So hopefully one of my teammates can finish the job I started. Respawn, respawn. Oh, you got me. We have a 415% Pronotivity and climbing. That is good for us. I feel we can soon make a push and end this game. These teams are pretty well matched. I feel I may be the player derping around the most. Sneak my way through this cave again. What do we have here? More than one person. Let's go ahead and get the medic. Oh, we missed. Got him. Let's keep moving. One shot off. Just one. Taken out by the SMG chopper. He's doing pretty good this game. He might be the leader in kills. And the dreaded 30 second respawn time. It's going to be up to our teammates for a minute. Now this game is at 15 minutes. 
just a few seconds to go. Right, let's get back in this. Let's head back through our cave. We really gotta get this tower. If we can get their shield to drop, this may be the end. At the same time, we don't want to lose our footing. If we lose two towers, which can happen very quickly, this game will shift. I've seen it happen way too many times. Okay, looking good so far. I definitely know we're here now. We have been spotted. Persistence is the key in this instance. He's got to keep hitting this thing. Got half of it. Can't get to me. Got him. This tower is going to be ours. One more good shot. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and make a push. We still have five plasma cannons. Well, we had five. <laughs> now we have two. Ah, uh, the chopper has taken us out again. He's doing a very good defensive role. Staying near his shield, keeping his reactor safe. Forty second respawn time. Our reactor is going down fast. Now the productivity in this is pretty much the same, 496 and 412, so if they make a push, they can still win this. We're back. Awesome, we have all the towers. Well, those rails are devastating to Protonium Crystals. Very slow to reload, but they have the highest damage to the Protonium Crystals of any weapon. Got him taken care of. Let's make a push on the reactor. Damn the towers, take the reactor. Mr. Chopper. Direct hit. We got his attention. Let's keep moving. Let's shoot straight up this cliff. Oh, we're losing control. Still a few cannons left, so we can crawl the way up there. We got a plasma high in the sky. That was devastating. And our reactor is going down. Looks like we lost this match. Oh, they made a nice push there and took our reactor down pretty quickly. Let's take a look at our team here. Well, guys, we gave it a shot with our speedy plasma. But it looks like we just were a little bit outmatched in that one. Went down pretty quickly. Kills just four. That just goes to show you, you don't have to always have all the towers to win. They coordinated three or four robots together, and they took our towers, uh, they took our reactor down very, very quickly. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, we will, of course, see you next time.